Hello friends, here we are for November 8th, 2024. And we're doing To All The Girls I Loved on page 214. And this is the setup for us. Um, so under soft and easy category, we're doing soft country, about 82, right around there. Normal preset, zero. So the normal preset is going to be, we go over here to soft and easy, and then we go to soft country, get the normal preset, and go to number four here, and we see mellow guitar. Okay, that's what we want. That's exactly what we want. So that is that set up. The only thing that we're going to add to the mellow guitar setting is we're going to go to the more button here and put on our country harmony. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and then the graphic mixers, you know that, you'll be getting a copy of that. There's your graphic mixers. Adding the country harmony. And on the third um, ending at that point, we are going to transpose up a half step. So how do we do that? How's the best way to transpose without sounding like it, you know, just going from, you know, sound real bad like that. Well, let's talk about that. Um, first of all, here's the extra, here's the third ending. And I put an extra measure in there with an E flat seven for the two transposition chord. And uh, for two beats of the right hand, off on the right hand there. And then off um, on the left hand right there. And then smash. As soon as you get into the next measure, hit the transpose, boom, you're into it. So the best way to do that, I mean, you can do it this way to go up there, but you're going to have to take your hands off the keyboard, and there's not much time with that whole thing to get back into it. So we're going to save the, um, we're going to save the pedal. You know, you have the right pedal left pedal and your volume pedal. And we're going to go to our feature. And you guys know that all these, you go to the feature, there's your whole owner's manual. Everything that you ever wanted, you don't need, you can throw your owner's manual away because uh, this will spell it out and it'll make it easy to get in and out of it too. And so, you know, you just kind of scroll Find the right page and find the thing that says foot switches. Then you hit foot switches and it says um, right foot switch. And I have already set it up, but it doesn't come up on that. So you might have to, once you get to there, you might have to find it. Increase tempo. It does a bunch of things, as you probably know. They get and all that good stuff to new tool. Seventh chords, no chord, no function fade, intro endings, <laughs> decrease tempo, increase tempo, transpose up. That's where we want to be. So um, that'll be, so if I hit the pedal now, there, the right hand pedal, there it goes. So hit the right hand pedal, there it goes. And that's the easiest way to do it. And in order to save that, I we highly recommend that you save it on a preset. Um, otherwise, you're going to lose it. It may or may not be there when you try to, uh, if you set something different up. So, um, what I would recommend is save it. How do we save presets? A lot of people don't do it, and I don't know why they don't. It's very easy. It's very simple. And once you, yeah, I mean, you've all said, gosh, I played this song last week and I had a perfect setup. I don't know how to get it back. I can't get it back the same way. Well, that's because you don't save things, okay? But what you wanna do is save it. And uh, to go through that process, uh, we just push the memorize. So we've got the thing set up the way. Okay, we've got it set up just the way we want. 
and uh, so including the transpose up. So we want to save all that material. So memorizes the first button that you always hit, and memorizes the last button that you hit. Memorize, then look at the screen, memorize two. The next thing over is the banks. What bank do you want to save it in? I'm going to save it in A. And then it wants to know which number. Well, I could save it in zero too, but I like it to save it on a number. So I press the one, A1. And I do want the style. Yes. Yeah. So I made the circle. And here's the end of the circle. Boom. I got it. Don't have to worry about it. So when I play it on the next video, it's right there for me. So I'll do this one more time. So there's their extra measure with the E flat seventh. And the big thing is you don't want any hands on the keyboard when you do the transposition, nothing. So all you're gonna do is um, hit the E flat with the right hand there. And then on the third beat, you're gonna take the right hand off because you got a rest there, half note rest. And then on the fourth beat, you're gonna take the left hand off. As soon as you get in the new measure, you see you got a quarter rest and an eighth rest there. You hit the smash chord and then the transposition um, button, you know, on if, if you have it, uh, you can always put it, uh, yeah, you, you can put it in different places, but I think that's the easiest place to, uh, to do it. So you hit the right transposition button on your volume pedal, and then you're gonna start out there and boom, it's gonna be up a half step. It's gonna sound really cool. So we'll do that in, uh, did I, I don't know if I mentioned the intro to uh, and ending to on the song, maybe. But you'll be getting copies of all the changes here, okay? All right, so, and I, um, yeah, I would recommend Willie Nelson and Julia Inglesis. <laughs> um, if you wanna hear it, they do a very, very nice job very nice job and uh, that'll kind of help we'll know kind of what we're going for at that point all right so i will see you on the next video in a couple minutes